Hey everybody, welcome back to Mass Effect. Hey, what Hope. you want? How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Can I save it now? Fuck, I can't. Alright. We need to do something first. We need to mostly look at my gear, see if there's any things that need upgrading. Uh, yeah, we're fucked, I think. Because I just don't have a lot of good gear right now. Uh. It's the game's way of telling you fuck off. Uh. Alright. We got heat absorption, and yeah, we're gonna not. Yeah, okay, I got, got anti personnel rounds, but I can get the better one. What is this one? Weapons Force. I probably am going to do also chemical rounds for this guy. I think Garrus is going to be a useless piece of shit, but you know what? Who am I to question him? Uh, let's see here. We got Weapons Force, Weapon Stability. I don't think he's going to do much with heat absorption, I'm not going to lie. But what the hell, let's give it to him. And he's got weapon stability and hammerhead rounds. Let's try phasic rounds for that. Yeah, you definitely don't need that. Maybe stability? Accuracy on the shotgun? I don't know. <laughs> A lot of this isn't any good. Weapon force. Maybe, maybe we'll knock him down. We'll see. Yeah, this is kind of a, a difficult part in the game coming up. And we're fucked. We're so fucked. Yeah, it's just I'm gonna expect them to die, and I'm gonna die too. <laughs> but you know what? You know what it has rewarded with the best dialogue in any game ever. It delivered and it just absolute brilliance, guys. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys know when it's coming. It's very soon. Right, here we go. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <laughs> I like your attitude. Best dialogue of the game. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, we don't want to fuck with the Krogan right now, so we're gonna fuck with literally everybody else but the Krogan. Is that necessary? Why is he, is he attacking me? He's attacking me! What the fuck? He's hacked, though. Alright, we have a problem. Oh, shit. I'm so dead. That's what the problem is. I'm fucking dead, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that, like, after... The, like, I thought when they were hacked, they're on your side, but apparently... Oh, uh, I guess that they go after everybody, and not just me. Uh, well. Welcome to the problem of that. I, and I guess what? We go back here every single time, and it forgets whatever I equipped on people. Which is kind of the problem. Uh, I don't think it remembers at all. Yeah, I literally, you know, I'm not doing this every time, just because it's so, so fucking annoying.
All right, here's the Krogan Battlemaster, and uh, I didn't think that was even going for me, but okay. All right, we need to bring everybody back. I'm surprised he hasn't used Barrier yet. All right, the best way I know of doing this is to maintain distance from the Krogan friend bars. So anywhere where I see him going, I go the other way. Also, that guy has the poison shit. Because he can heal himself, he can do a bunch of stuff, basically. Alright, okay, whenever we go this way again... Hey, he's already back to full health already. Or for full uh, shields. Trying to hit him. And there's a guest sniper still up, by the way. Yeah, now he has like now he used barrier, but, so now it's on cooldown, and he's not attacking me, which is good. Um, being behind cover would make the scope sway much more manageable, but I can't do that. So uh, right now he seems to be glitching the fuck out and just doesn't know what to do. So that's kind of nice. Um, I mean, here's the thing: it depends what you rolled in terms of. Uh, your, your items and stuff, and in my case, it was particularly bad. I tell him to go attack him. Oh, he's still alive, though. He's healing. Okay, we got him. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, okay. That didn't take me nearly as long, but I was better equipped the last time I did this. Uh, this was the save, of course, before I kind of, everything got messed up. So, that's life sometimes. I'm going to tell these guys to go get the hacker guy. I'm not, I'm not going out there. Okay, good. Alright, let's, uh, let's give it a good old save a -roo. Uh, after I, uh, I, why am I hearing the noise of, of him going to attack me again? Alright, what do I actually want? We don't want an advanced unit, we wanted armor. Yeah, randomly I have like, wait, what did I just do? Oh, nothing. I'll just undo this just in case, okay. Oh, it's just saying we unlocked fitness, that's all. Yeah, let's get advanced shield boost while we're at it. And I'll save the last point, because I don't know what I really want to go into. I might as well just have an extra point. Maybe I want to do electronics right away. We'll see. Um, can this guy get anything? He can get immunity. You know what? That sounds actually pretty good. Let's give him immunity. And let's unlock throw. Which he can't really get right now, but that's fine. It's unlocked. That's all that matters. Adrenaline burst. Resets cooldown times on your town so they can be used again immediately. That's pretty good. I, I think I was going with a, a trying to unlock sniper rifles with him, though. But that's fine. Like, I, I got so unlucky with my, my current loadout, but anyways, yeah, we'll watch a cutscene. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano, 
Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Get to the point. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. You're not much of an expert, Doctor. The answer's been standing in front of you the whole time. The Protheans were wiped out by a race of machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. 
I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. <laughs> uh, I love that so much. Alright, let's go. Uh, um, downstairs for some reason. Let's see the point defense systems. Amazing. Codex, plus 24. Anything else here? Ooh, heat load monitor. Oh, all that sweet experience. Even more heat load monitors. All right, I don't want to talk to anyone here, I think. Nope. Uh, Joe can go fuck off. I, th I still think we have this, this crew member named Caden, but I've never heard of him before. You, you know he's, uh, he's the same voice, voice actor as Karth from Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, no, no don't, even, don't even look in that direction. Uh, so you can kind of guess what we're going to be doing now. We're about to get pussy whipped. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers, but I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Ah, uh -huh. you share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate... Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered male and female have no real meaning for us. 
We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The Union is a connection that transcends both time and space. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Alright. Well, as far as I know, I can't just... I, I've, done a, I've done a run of the game where I was just addicted to everything, and then yeah, you didn't get any scenes at the end for fucking any whatever bullshit. So, as far as I know, I have to be nice to at least one character for something to happen. I mean, no, it's very, fairly obvious. I have no medium armor whatsoever, so let's go see if we can buy some. And speed up the game, even though it's loading. Okay, good. Looking for supplies? I absolutely. Am. Let's see what you. You bet, Commander. All right, let's see. Here. Medium armor, Scorpion Four. Little bit out of my price range. It would have been nice, though. I mean, I I maybe can if I sell things. Except I don't have a lot of things to sell. Light armor, Quarry. Well, we're never gonna use that. Fuck all these guns. Uh, we can keep the Turian armors, though. I, I don't want to get rid of a lot of this, though. Fuck it. <laughs> Hurricane one, yeah. Actually, I don't know. We're, we're kind of getting up there. Because some of the things down here are worth a lot more. Because they're shotguns and stuff. But I'm pretty sure I've already upgraded everybody pretty much to full. And we'll get something else, I'm sure, at some point. Toxic seals. Toxin resistance. Let me get rid of that. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna make it to that. So anything anything else is good? Oh, they got the Avenger sniper. That's <laughs> worse than what I have. Substantially worse. All right, fuck that. Fuck that then. All right. So we're just gonna deal with the exact same armor piece that we've been using this ent entire time, I guess. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, nothing's here. Go up to the bridge. Uh, let's see here. 
All right, so I have one point to put in. Yeah, well, we'll see, I guess, in a bit. There was actually one other thing I did want to do. Um, I mean, how much time do we have? Uh, we can go to one planet. So let's go back to the planet I was just on because uh, this is something I'm going to have to do. Yeah, we can't go back here anymore, so uh, rip a runnies. Uh, I was in Sparta. And what was I doing up here? Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Did Anderson have to deal with this shit? I'm pretty sure he didn't. Is this the planet we were on before? Yeah, this was it. Alright, so let's bring the Iron Rex. Just to speed this up. Alright, we're on the floor now. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, apparently the, the Mako's now on fire. I don't know when I did this. Alright, let's just repair it then. What the fuck? Maybe it was the last time I was on this planet. It, like, remembers this shit? Why? Alright. Let's just, let's just, uh, wait a couple, let's just wait a little bit. Alright, so she's right here. Uh, we got Rex, nothing. Alright, so she's got herself electronics, and so we're gonna actually rush that. Alright, well, we'll put, we'll put one point in these two abilities, and also one, one point in Asari. Because she's got a good first aid, but I figure she should do all the electronic stuff, so now I don't have to worry about that. And we should probably do Singularity next. Um, also, she's good at like no weapons except for pistols, so that's also something good to know. She's more of like a support kind of roll heavy into kind of stuff. I, it was either her or or Garrus uh, or Tally. I don't, I don't think the tech abilities are. I mean, I, were, I already have tech abilities. It's just I I, I would prefer having a whole lot more. Um, okay, there we go. We got singularity now. Okay, this is this is perfect actually. I like this. All right, let's. Uh, okay, we can't repair the ship again. Uh, do we have a pistol for it? Yeah, we do. We can even give it some... Nothing, really. I don't know what I'd really give her. Anti-personnel rounds? Sure. You can have anti-personnel rounds. And she uses light human armor, but I sold it also. Whatever, she'll get it back. So here we go. I, I just didn't know about this. That's ridiculous. Drag map. It says left click. Yeah, but there's nothing to drag, so let's go over here. I just kind of didn't know about it, so we're gonna go... I think we were here already. But you see, we can also... Yeah, th actually, it's telling me area map. So we've already done that one. I think. I, I was already here. I actually went back to it even though we already had saved. So there's also some destination over there. Actually, it's the other way. But, like, like this makes it so much faster. We don't have to, like go slowly through it, you know, there's like not, like, it, this is like one of the more boring parts of the game, right? Just showing you guys what the plan is to, to complete this. It's a, it isn't like a hundred parts. Let's go repair the ship briefly again. So I guess that's the plan, is like, we just go to every planet and just kind of like, do this, and that's it. What the hell is over here? Oh yeah, there's a... What the hell is that? A mummified Solarian. Recover artifact. Decrypting. ID tag. Uh, we, we're not sure how it ended up here. Alright. So there's like, there's some reason to do stuff here. We, we just have to remember that we've done everything. But like, as I said, we get to just super speed it. Like, you know. Fuck it. <laughs> This is like the best idea I've ever had. Alright, there's a crash probe here. Oh my f sweet something. Oh my. Actually, we did it. Cryo explosive combat sensor and hardened weave. Alright. What's hardened weave do? I think it's the thing that prevents them from. Yeah. It's uh, against both biotic and tech attacks. Not a big deal to me. What was the other thing we got? We got like new grenades? Yeah, we did. Cryo explosive. Max accuracy. I would prefer actually uh, incineraries, actually. And I don't think we got really got anything else, just like phasic rounds and shit like that. 
All right. Actually, what weapon does she count as using? Uh, Rex uses the shotgun she uses. Yeah, she uses pistols, just like I thought. But she's more of a, as I said, support. Now we've done everything. We've returned to Normandy, and then that's it. That's it. We don't have to deal with anything else. So what am I going to do next time? I do not know, but we'll we'll deal with that next time as I run around in circles. Actually, can we go inside here? Uh, we can't talk to the council anymore. I'm just gonna run all the way to the side of the bridge. Alright, we're going now. See you later, guys. Bye.